on December 19, 2020, in San Diego, California, a historic event took place at a restaurant called The Village, owned by Alondra Ruiz. Assembled were doctors and lawyers and business owners, and they all gathered 250 people protesting the lockdowns and the wearing of masks and the government of California putting small businesses out of business. So this is that meeting. Big corporations kept thriving while small businesses kept being destroyed. I kept seeing the inconsistency of big corporations thriving and some businesses considered essential while others were not essential. And as we all know, some businesses permanently closed. And we keep seeing people that had worked their whole life for their dream to lose everything overnight. Years of hard work destroyed, never to get it back. So my hope is that by creating events like this, more and more business owners stand up for their business and stand up for their rights. We cannot let fear take our dreams away. We must step into our power. We are infinite beings that can make a difference when we step into our power that God has given us. But in order to tap into that power, we need to be aware what we're up against. We can't look the other way when so much corruption and oppression is happening to us and around us. We can't be afraid to speak up. We can't be afraid to take action. And we cannot be afraid to make a difference. It is our duty as human beings to stand up against oppression. Unfortunately, many people still believe we are living in a free country, but we must acknowledge what is happening and that every day that we stay quiet, our rights are being stripped from us. Enough is enough. We must make a change, but we cannot do it alone. There is power in numbers. We need to unite and conquer, not divide. That's the strategy of the evil powers, to divide us, to make us fight amongst each other, to give us something to argue about, like who wears a mask or who doesn't wear a mask, so we can put, point our finger to each other. But that's all a distraction. That's the plan of the powers that be, to give us something to fight about, and to keep us divided. I think we can all agree that we all have different beliefs and desires, but a desire the majority of us have in common is the desire to live the American dream. Where equality and opportunity is available to all of us, allowing the highest aspirations and goals to be achieved with justice and liberty and the pursuit of happiness. And no one can do this for us. We must take it. We must create a different reality than what we are currently experiencing. And I don't know how you guys feel about this, but I had enough and I'm not willing to give up my freedom. And I will not surrender to tyranny. I will fight until I cannot fight anymore. Every action I will continue to take regarding liberty will be with the famous words in mind of Patrick Henry. Give me liberty or give me death. Thank you. speech I mean come on you guys yeah. the power the passion the love you know that's what really all binds us together here and I'm glad that I'm able to see in a physical representation representation um, of love you know this is what it is this isn't fear um, love is the exact opposite of fear and it seems like we all showed out today didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. thank you thank you so much all right
right, perfect. So, up next, I would like...